Greetings. Greetings and welcome. I am Kimber Heels. Today is Tarot Tuesday, and I am very, very, very excited to be bringing this week's message from a brand new deck for me, not a new deck to the world, but Kyle Gray's Keeper of the Light Oracle Cards gets the bell today, as well as the honor of being our intuitive Crystal Reed. Kyle Gray is amazing, major, major um, master power coming out of this guy. Super duper crush potential for a gal like myself as well. But holy moly, you guys, this Oracle deck is amazing. So the Keepers of the Light and Kyle Gray is on YouTube and Instagram. Um, he is super relatable, you guys, for what I would consider the demographic of my followers. That would be us. A really, really kind of like cool guy to follow to help you sort of find your place in the new age and in within the Great Awakening. So this week, it's going to be another three card read. We're going to be asking you to use your intuition by letting me know which of these crystals are calling to you. We're going to do a little bit more of a shuffle, but first I want to show you the crystals that you'll be choosing from. So card number one is going to be represented by this citrine. This is a really kind of special and different kind of citrine. These are all going to be wire wraps, by the way, today. I just had, I was really called. I've been super tapped in. I'm telling you, as soon as the Keepers of the Light deck showed up yesterday, it was like my third eye exploded. And it showed up when I was down at the beach making a meditation for you all. So I just feel like that's even more, um, even more confirmation that it's special. Card number two is going to be represented by the Moldavite and green tourmaline. This is going to be a heart chakra color. Moldavite is ridiculously powerful. It's actually, for those of you who have never heard of Moldavite, Moldavite was formed when a meteorite hit the earth in the Czech Republic many, many decades ago. And so Moldavite is actually part extraterrestrial and part terrestrial. It's very special that way. So that was card number two. Card number three is going to be represented by this aqua aura quartz. This one happens to be wrapped by yours truly. And this aqua aura quartz just really wanted to make an appearance this week. So that's going to be card number three. Whichever of those crystals are calling out to you, that is which card is going to be yours. So we're just going to take one breath led by myself while we give it a final shuffle and then we're going to draw the top three cards. First, let's clear out any blocks that you might have to receiving your message. So wherever you are, seated or standing, imagine a glittering healing white light beginning to build at the base of your spine, in your sacrum, in your tailbone. And as you inhale... Inhale through your nose, feel that white light go up your spine, and as you exhale, you blow out any blocks. And that was the final shuffle. I feel especially the top two cards right here are like kind of sticky together. I also feel a warm flush on the back of my head and my neck. So I'm very excited to see what's coming through for all of us. See if I can get all of these in view for you. So card number one was represented by, like we mentioned, Citrine. You've chosen Meltig's deck. Meltig's deck. I really am butchering that. Melkid's deck. Higher learning. You have learned from experience. More inner study is now required to further progress. For those of you who chose card number two, card number two represented by the Moldavite, 
You've chosen Krishna. Devotion. Trust your spiritual guidance. Your commitment has been recognized. You are loved unconditionally. And for those of you who were drawn to the Aqua Ore Quartz, the clean blue, card number three, your card is Master Jesus. Forgiveness. He's right there behind me. Jesus is here. Jesus holds us all. Whether you identify as a Christian or not, Jesus holds you. You are on the path of light, love, and forgiveness. Father healing is possible at this time. So this is a big healing of the divine masculine, healing of the divine father. Let's see if we can get all of these into the frame for you guys. So... This deck is special. I know I already kind of said that when I opened up with this video, but this deck is especially special to me. And um, I am just really excited about all of these messages that are coming through for everybody today. So we're going to be beginning with card number one. If, if these keepers of the light, I know that they're with me because I've been feeling it, like I mentioned, ever since this deck was was delivered yesterday something in me has felt different i've been activated by this deck i can tell that i have so mel pig's deck forgive me for butchering your name one last time this is actually metatron now that i'm oh and they do give me a pronunciation as I'm looking at this card, I'm realizing that this is Metatron, or at least it's a huge Metatron presence for card number one, who in the Bible was Enoch. Metatron being the only archangel, I'm pretty sure, who was at one time human. So this is what makes Metatron, a lot of people say, the most powerful of all of the archangels because he not only holds the Akashic Records, is the keeper of the Akashic Records, and all of sacred geometry, um, he also can hold all of the human emotions and so therefore even archangel michael who i always thought would be the most powerful archangel um sort of is encompassed in the energy of is it melchiadek i really was butchering that so melchiadek is a high priest who is mentioned in the bible book of genesis and many other sources too he is here to assist the earth through the ascension process which is basically moving everyone and everything back to a state of love and harmony he appears with bright light around him and a long white beard to match his ancient priest ways. It's said to have his own order of light-filled priests who are able to help spiritual people develop their gifts and qualities. As Melchizedek works with <laughs> on a high energetic level, or as Metatron works on a high energetic level, we can connect with him through sacred geometry and by focusing on ancient star-shaped symbols. This is such an amazing... I'm going to try to stop gushing over this deck. So Malkia deck is also Metatron. I'm really grateful to be learning even more about these Ascended Masters. Beautiful. So for those of you who chose card number one... Represented by the citrine, you've chosen Malkiadek, also known as Metatron. Metatron, the keeper of the Akashic Records. So the message is for you is you have so much divine power right now. You have sort of like a straight line to your psychic powers. Whatever it is that you're looking to manifest right now, it's time to sort of like really dive into what your true wisdom and knowledge is. Because that's when you're going to realize, <clears throat> excuse me, that's when you're going to realize that you have basically access to any potential outcome to any um effort that you might be putting out toward these goals that you're that you're setting so for those of you who chose card number one Melchia deck or metatron harness this power because this power is yours it's real you are tapped in you do have help and this is really a message of wisdom for you guys super 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 cool love that message 
for those of you who chose card number two, you were drawn to the Moldavite. These cards are really sort of following their crystals too, aesthetically, as well as sort of like with the messages. You've chosen Krishna devotion. Trust your spiritual guidance. Your commitment has been recognized. You are loved unconditionally. So not forgetting that sometimes we don't always have um, instant payouts. You don't always see instant karma. You don't always see instant dividends, paybacks on what you've put in, but that's where patience and faith come in. Krishna is a Hindu god who's known as Mahavatar, the great avatar, and embodies divine wisdom. One of India's best loved gods, he is approachable, kind, loving, and a supportive guide. He's a peaceful being with a great love for all people and animals. He's also often depicted with a calf or a lamb, which is a symbol of innocence and a peacock feather on his head, which is said to honor the divine feminine. He was the spiritual guide of the warrior soul Arjuna, as related in the Hindu epic Bhagavad Gita, which really is a story of choosing love over fear. The message to live by honestly it helps us move beyond limitations and wars of our ego created in our mind and maybe even in the world around us krishna's twin flame is radha for those of you who chose card number two i really feel a pretty unmistakable message of nurturing the inner child this week Spending time doing things that you really enjoyed doing when you were a child, reading books with a similar theme, possibly fantasy books, or even watch, watching what was your favorite movie when you were a child. Also, nurturing the inner divine feminine will kind of go hand in hand with that. So as you're doing these inner child nurturing rituals, put yourself into sort of like the role of the divine mother. It's going to be you mothering yourself this week for those of you who chose card number two. And I also wanted to point out, I felt called to bring over the selenite sword that I wrapped myself. And it really looks a lot like this. Krishna has the peacock feather and this feather on the wand kind of with the evil eye, which I also have my evil eye earrings on today, sort of like is going with that theme of the peacock. So I'm just feeling so much alignment with the, all of these messages this week. This deck is super cool. I know some of you guys saw uh, Metatron fall. He's just watching us from down here where the view is great. Melchizedek. I'll never forget that now. I was like Melchizedek. Melchizedek. <sighs> so here's where it gets a little bit personal. Oh, and my imperfect food delivery just got delivered right like right now. The gentleman is setting down the box at my at my door, which is like everything is so divine. You guys will have to forgive me if I get emotional as I typically don't reveal which is my card in the three card read, but this third card master jesus is my card that i was called to because the aqua or quartz has been <laughs> the aqua or quartz has been all but speaking to me like literally so yes or this morning the first card that i personally personally pulled from this deck was the master jesus card which i have been feeling so pulled at my spiritual core i am a christian i don't really call myself a christian i'm more just a spiritual because i really do um, enjoy all of the love that has to come from a lot of different types of scriptures but i also channel the energies of many of these ascended masters and the energy of Jesus is the energy that I have been channeling since I was a child. So this energy has, the Jesus energy has just been really, really powerful in my life. And that's why I actually decided, I the first moment I laid eyes on this pendant that I bought from Destino Designs on Instagram, who is a dear friend of ours, Lance and Kathy, thank you guys so much. Destino Designs, please follow them. They're handcrafted jewelry, amazing. Um, I met Lance when I was working in physical therapy, 
and he's just a truly amazing angel to this earth so thank you guys so much but i had this was <laughs> this pendant got delivered yesterday the same day that this deck was delivered and i noticed for the first time and i had already been noticing that just the jesus energy has been calling me um i noticed for the first time and i might even be able to open the blinds and show that there is a power line unfortunately outside my um window but it is a cross and it, it looks like the cross and i just thought perspective is everything because here I've been looking like oh you know I have a pretty decent view out my bedroom I guess except for all the power lines but when I looked at it today I'm like that is a cross and it's in Jesus I'm held <laughs> so that's just a little blurb about card number three um and just in general that this deck is so legit just so legit and that we are held you guys so know that so for those of you who were called to be Aqua or Quartz, card number three, you chose Master Jesus. The Father, forgiveness. You are on the path of light, love, and forgiveness. Father healing is possible at this time. So Father healing, a masculine energy coming from card number three, Master Jesus. This is a perfect time to allow the masculine energy healing to come in. So we talk a lot about the feminine energy and what it is and how it's nurturing, how it's healing, how it helps you um, nurture your inner child. The masculine energy is problem solving. It is fire. It is transmutation. It is moving, building walls, knocking down walls. Um, there has to be a balance. I'm getting affirmation chills. So Master Jesus obviously parted seas and walked on water. Was that Moses who parted the seas, right? Um, Jessica will help me out with this. Um, Master Jesus also, his twin flame energy is Mary Magdalene. And Master Jesus, or we a lot of us just say Jesus Christ, held... Um, obviously the masculine energy in that relationship. And poor Mary Magdalene has been just dragged through the mud as a Jezebel, which she's not. But when we pull her card, inevitably we'll get whatever channels through for that. But today we've got Jesus for card number three. So when I read this, as I pulled this card, this card was my personal card this morning. And I read the first line says, a man who needs no introduction. I melted and I bursted into tears and I cried a sob that I had needed to cry for a while. And that's why I love this deck also so much. I am not sponsored by this deck, by the way. But a man who needs no introduction. Everybody knows Jesus. <laughs> So I am on fire right now. I like I said, I've been Jesus. Jesus has been in my heart since day one. So when I'm reconnected with my energetic intention to Jesus, look out world through both the Gospels and the Gnostic Gospels. We have come to know Jesus as a great teacher, loving guide and generous soul. He accepts us all. Although he is the focal point of Christianity, he will respond to anyone who reaches out to him. He helps us overcome sacrificial love when we have to leave behind something in order to get what we love. He is also the light keeper we can call on for support with forgiveness. He reminds us that our connection to love is the most important connection we will ever create. Forgive forgiveness is an act of self-love. You're beginning you are being encouraged to know that whatever you have done to yourself or others, the divine is not condemning you. You don't have to forget what has happened, but you no longer need to allow your whole story to be defined by a situation that does not support your happiness. Good Lord Jesus. Jesus is here to bring miraculous shifts of healing to you and all of those around you and to release you from the burden of self-loathing. He wants you to know that he sees the child of God within you. He also brings clarity and healing to any situations concerning your father, either on earth or in heaven. Thank you, Jesus, for that message from card number three. 
of all the ascended masters, nobody can make me want to just like jump up and down and cheer like Jesus does. So Jesus is bringing all of those of you who chose card number three, a lot of acceptance. He is giving you the power to, he's giving you the permission really to stop with the self-hatred, to stop with the self-loathing, hand it over. As my cousin Bella would say, lay it at God's feet, lay it down at Jesus's feet. My cousin April would say that she taught Bella that. God taught them all that. Um, so lay it down. Lay it down at the feet of your father. And if this is speaking to somebody who would like to improve the relationship that they have with their actual earth father, especially if you were somebody who chose card number three, but not only if you chose card number three, because this message is for all of us. Um, Jesus is with you. You have all of the healing power within you. Just like Archangel Metatron or Melchizedek gives us all of the knowledge and the access to the wisdom that you need from card number one and card number two, Jesus gives you access to pure love, pure love, white light straight from your heart. You have so much power with that. Um, Jesus was a flesh and blood man, just like how you and I are flesh and blood humans, earthlings. So take advantage of the power that's around you guys. I freaking love you guys, man. It's, um, I feel like this is a small victory that no tears came through today. It would have been fine if tears did, but I got them all out. Believe you me this morning, I got them all out. So everybody just have the most blessed week. I truly appreciate you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this message. I will be back on Friday for a weekend read and I'm going to be continuing with the meditation Mondays as well. So I'll be bringing you guys small clips of um, no talking meditations, sound healing, sonic healing. I will also be working on my ASMR healing um, once I get possibly eh, I'm gonna do it right now, but especially start to really focus on that when I get a better camera. Um, which is going to be coming sooner rather than later if these donations keep coming in. I want to thank everybody and ring the bell for everybody who's been donating to my PayPal through YouTube. And thank you guys so much, everybody who joined my YouTube last week um, per my request. You guys are the best. You guys all did me a solid. And if you were not among those who did last week, please do so subscribe. And um, like I said, I'm just going to be adding more and more content. I used to just do one video a week and now I'm doing three and I am just really enjoying it. And I know that you guys are as well. So I love you. Thank you. Thank you for your gift. Keep shining your light. Have the most wonderful, most blessed week ever. Goodbye.